Hey guys, Brian here with Wolf's Prairie Outdoors. Today we got a little treat for you. We managed to get a hold of a Marlin 1894 CST. All we've done is put a few rounds down range at the local indoor range to see that it was zeroed, and that's it. So today we're gonna do some testing. We've got five different kinds of ammo and just see how it feeds. We've got some plans for upgrades already in the future, in the very near future, but we wanted to run it in its stock form before we did anything to it so we have a baseline to uh, relate to. After Freedom Group bought out Marlin, there was a small time period where there was a rough patch. There were some rough rifles coming out of there as far as lever actions go, and they stopped making them all together for a little bit. And they've come back, and I'm proud to say this actually runs better from the little bit I've done seems to run better than a JM, and that's huge. I've got a 2017-1895 SBL that was pretty rough when it got to me, and I had to polish up the action, which I'll take you guys through in the very near future, and it made a big difference. It runs nice and smooth now, but it actually bit me. It drew blood just working on the inside of the action because it was razor sharp edges, but this rifle is smooth as butter. It just it's smooth as glass, and I've got a feeling it's going to feed anything and everything we throw at it. Trigger feels good. Everything just fit and finish is great. The only thing I can find to pick at on this rifle is there is a little bitty spot right here where the spider webbing did not adhere to, I guess, or they just stopped spraying. So there's a little bitty bald spot right here on the back of the stock, but that's it. Fit and finish on this is much better than my 2017 rifle. My dad has a 1984 model, 1894, and the meat of the wood to the metal on the back of the receiver here is actually a little better on this than his 1984 model. So Marlin is back. They are producing some top quality firearms and I cannot wait to run this thing suppressed for you guys. It's it's awesome. We actually got to do that with a couple rounds of 38 at the indoor range. They had a suppressor that was put on it and it sounds like an air rifle going off. All you hear is the hammer drop and a little out the end. It's phenomenal. But that's enough jibber jabber. Let's do some shooting. That's what you guys are here for. As far as ammo, we have some HSM ammo that a friend of ours got us when he was out in Montana. And we've got some 38 special 158 grain semi wad cutters, some 357 158 grain jacketed hollow points. The 38s are remanufactured. The 357 is new. We've had those for about 10 years. And then we've got some HSM Cowboy that is semi wad cutters, and that is 158 grain. It's their Cowboy Action Load. And then we have some American Eagle Federal 357 Magnum 158 grain jacketed soft points. And then lastly, but definitely not least, we have some Fiocchi 158 grain complete metal jacket, uh, 357 Magnum. So we are gonna have some fun today. We're gonna run all these and try to make this thing fail. So let's start off with our 38s. Hold six in the tube. And as with all the Marlins, this one does have a kind of stiff loading gate. We've got a fix coming up for that very, very soon, and it's gonna be nice. I think that's five, and let's put six in it and see how she does. Okay, and safety on. Eyes and ears, boys and girls. Let's ring some steel. That's all she wrote. It's running good. Okay, next up, we're gonna run some HSM 158 grain jacketed hollow points. That loading gate definitely is stiff. I tell you, shooting those 38s is like shooting a little 22 with this rifle. There's nothing to it. Man, that's a stiff loading gate. There we go. One nice thing about this is it's very compact, lightweight, excellent rifle for our wives to shoot, 
and I got a boy on the way. He will definitely be learning to shoot on this rifle. A little more authority with a 357. All right. It's running everything really smoothly. We are up to the HSM Cowboy Load 357s. These are 158 grain semi wad cutters. That is a stiff loading gate. I cannot wait to change that out. I love this rifle. It runs so smooth. Okay, we are now up to the American Eagle 158 grain jacketed soft points. And number six. There we go. A little more authority there. It is a nice hot South Carolina day. We found the shadiest spot we could on the property to keep from sweating profusely all over this stuff. We are now up to the Fiocchi, 158 grain uh, copper metal jacket, I guess it is, or complete metal jacket, whatever they want to call it. CMJ. These are definitely loading much easier than the other rounds. They've got a nice taper to the nose, but not completely tapered. There we go. A lot of it's to do with that gate. That's just, you've got to push so hard on that gate to get it open. We've got one from Ranger Point we're going to install. I think it's going to do a lot better. And it's black, so it'll match the furniture and look really nice. Let that thing cool off a minute. Man, this is definitely a fun gun to shoot, no doubt. There's no real kick. I think it's going to be an excellent deer rifle. I want to get it perfectly zeroed. It's, uh, it's favoring a little to the right right now, but for just getting out and doing some quick testing, sights are plenty good enough. And I tell you, it's running really well. The only hiccup I'm having is the loading gate is really holding me back. But switching it out, I think it's going to make a big difference. We've also got a Ranger Point Precision medium loop lever to put on here. So it's going to give it a lot more sleek look overall, definitely. And we also have a trigger that is going to get rid of that lovely lever gun trigger flop that they all have. I can't stand that trigger flop. But the trigger we're putting on is a little wider, it's serrated, and it's flatter, which I love a flat trigger. I just, I think it gives you, even though it's not substantially less poundage, it gives you a perceived lower poundage. And I just, I love it. I've got them on my ARs, and it's the best thing since sliced bread on those things. I love a flat trigger. I don't know if I've said it, but I love a flat trigger. <laughs> All right, let's run a few more of these Fiocchis. They shot really well, loaded really well. Those loads so much easier. Alrighty, there's six. <sighs> Whoo, baby, that barrel's getting hot. Well, I think you guys see this gun works great. We're going to take it in and we'll do a full breakdown for you guys and show you how to break this thing down properly and do you an install video of putting all these new toys on here, make it run a little bit better. And the new trigger is supposed to have a three and a half pound trigger pull. So that'll be really nice, which it's already, it's not bad. And it's, it's actually pretty crisp, a lot better than my 2017, 1895 model. And it just runs really good.
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We just wanted to bring you out with us and show you how this rifle runs. And we are definitely loving this rifle. It's an excellent investment, I think. And it's super handy. Man, it's hot and sweaty out here. <laughs> uh, it's just a really nice rifle. And surprisingly, I did not know this. You know, you can't find these in stock anywhere hardly. And when they do come in stock, they sell it in 30 minutes right now. Well, I found this at Midway USA. I did not know they sold guns. They just recently started. So if you're looking for something that's hard to find, check out Midway. They've got some great prices. And it was to my FFL in two days. You can't beat that. So definitely a good place to check out. But that's about all there is to it. We're going to do some modifications in the near future. We've got some ammo tests planned. And just get out and run and gun with this thing. Have some fun with it. Uh, if you like what you see, give us that big thumbs up. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Let us know you guys like what we're doing and you want to see more of it. We've got a lot planned. I think you guys are really going to enjoy. Have a good one.